Hi, Recovery Girls. It's Chanel. Thanks so much for joining me again today. Hey, I want to talk to you about the slogan just for today. This slogan is so near and dear to my heart right now. You know, I'm a single woman, never imagined at this age and stage in my life that I will be single, yet here I find myself single. And um, because I have chosen to let go of relationship dependency and unhealthy, destructive relationships, and I'm just focusing on being a contented single and being whole, um, separate, unique, focusing on being my best self. Um, and in that case, you know, if someone happens to cross my path that I can develop a healthy relationship with, I will be a healthy part of the equation. Um, but you know, while I'm in the single season, sometimes it gets uncomfortable. Some days I find it easier to be a contented single and to focus on the great parts about being single and my uh, flexibility and availability to operate in my purpose as well as to serve you know, my fellow humans, to cultivate and develop myself. I don't have to worry about uh, checking in with anyone else's opinion. It's an autocracy, baby, and I'm rocking it. Then there are those times where I can feel very uncomfortable. The discomfort of the lack of partnership, the lack of companionship, and things like that. And it, it feels very uncomfortable at times. And when I start to get overwhelmed with the idea of, Maybe this will be my life forever, and I can't imagine having to deal with this. I think of the slogan, just for today. Just for today, just for the next 24 hours, I can do what I could not imagine doing for a lifetime. I just forget about tomorrow, forget about the day after tomorrow. Just today, what do I need to do to take care of myself? so that I can be present in the moment, enjoy the presence and the joys of today, and not be hung up on tomorrow. Just for today, we can do, I can do, you can do, what we couldn't imagine for a lifetime. And then I'd like to further break it down and say, for 24 hours, I can do what I couldn't imagine doing for a lifetime. And what I love about that is if you factor in the fact that we should be getting eight hours of sleep every night anyway, we only really have to deal with two thirds of a day. So we make, you know, made that even smaller. And I can handle that. And I think that's manageable for a lot of people when we just have to focus on today. So living in daytight compartments can definitely help when we're in situations when we don't know when it'll change or if it'll change. But if we just focus on today, being, you know, in the present in the moment, having an attitude of gratitude and showing up to be our best self, we will make it. We will make it day by day. One day at a time, just for today. So thanks for joining me, ladies. Remember that God is wild about you. He longs to overshadow you in his goodness. All we have to do is let go and let God.